DC does something right. Hey, I'm Missy Stone with Students for Life, and this is your daily pro-life gen news. Let's get started. You may have seen in the news lately that the pain-capable Unborn Child Protection Act is moving forward to becoming a law. The House recently passed the act, which would prohibit abortions after 20 weeks and punish doctors that commit the abortions. The United States is one of only seven countries that allows abortion this late in a pregnancy. Who are some of the other countries? It's not a good list. It includes North Korea and China, not exactly beacons for protecting human rights. The other countries are Vietnam, Singapore, Canada, and the Netherlands. No matter how many countries allow for late-term abortions, it's still wrong. Now we are waiting for legislation to get moving in the Senate. It is unclear if the legislation can pass in the Senate because many pro-abortion senators will try to block the legislation from getting a vote. The good news is that the majority of the Senate is pro-life, so if the legislation can come up for a vote, there is a chance. That's why it's important for every pro-life citizen to call his or her senator and ask them to support the pain-capable Unborn Child Protection Act. You can reach your U.S. Senator's office by calling the Senate Capitol switchboard in the link provided. President Trump has promised to sign the legislation if it passes, and your help is needed. Some centrist Democrats who are up for election in 2018 might vote for the legislation if enough people call. So pick up those phones, people, and start calling. And that's all the news we have for today. I'm Missy Stone with Students for Life. See you later.